Filter Mist Unit is an oil mist collector that uses centrifugal impaction to remove or reclaim oil mist, coolant, fume and steam from a wide range of manufacturing operations. This film describes how to install a filter mist unit by directly mounting it onto a machine tool. Unpack the unit from its box. Place the unit on a sturdy work surface to prepare for installation. Remove the four insert screws in the base of the unit. Fit four case studs which are supplied with the unit. Fit after filter clips if an after filter is being used. Before mounting the unit, you will need to pre-wire the motor. Filter mist motors are wound for low and high voltage and operate on 50 Hz and 60 Hz as shown in the table in the installation manual. A connection diagram can be found inside the motor terminal box. The motor must be connected via a three-phase direct online starter and isolator with suitable thermal overloads or via an independent supply in the machine control panel. Position the wire mesh and fit the foam collar seal around the inlet spigot. The filter mist unit can only be started by using the control device provided for that purpose. This also applies when restarting the machinery after stoppage. Make sure the machine tool is switched off. Use a template to mark where the extraction hole in the machine enclosure needs to go. The diameter of the hole will vary depending on which model is being installed. Please refer to the installation manual for details. Drill four case stud fixing holes. Again, please refer to the table in the installation manual for hole size and case stud hole PCD. Cut a hole for the oil return tube, if required. Cut the extraction hole. Position the unit and secure to the machine tool. Position the oil return tube to drain oil back to the machine enclosure, sump or collection vessel. There must be no kinks or U-bends in the return tube. The end of the tube must not be submerged. Using an isolator allows the filter mist unit to be classed as a machine according to the Machine Directive 2006-42-EC. Please refer to the installation manual for recommended overload settings and terminal connections. Punch out the gland holes and fit the glands. Attach the back box to the machine tool. Screw the cover plate onto the isolator. Power supply must be connected by a qualified electrician. Place the after filter on top of the filter mist unit. Apply even pressure when pulling down over the unit and attaching the safety clips. Insert safety pins into the after filter clips and then fix with the nut to secure. On startup, the motor will draw current in excess of that shown on the motor plate. Ensure that appropriate fuses are used. It is vital to check that the unit is running in the direction indicated by the arrow on the upper section and runs continuously. Rotation direction can be checked by looking at the kickback which should be in the opposite direction of the arrow on top of the unit. To change rotation, swap any two supply wires. It must not be wired to switch on and off with the machine cycle. A face velocity reading is taken using a vane anemometer to measure the extraction rate in meters per second. The result is recorded on the job sheet and used as a benchmark when testing performance during routine servicing. A smokestick is then used to prove that there is sufficient negative pressure in the machine's enclosure to contain the mist and stop it escaping, and the filter mist is extracting as intended. 
Filter Mist engineers ensure the customer is completely satisfied with the installation and happy to sign the job off. A copy of the risk assessment and installation report is then emailed to the customer following the completion of the job.